Hey guys, what's up? This is Wesley talking. I'm gonna explain you what classes I use today. First up, there's the Assault class. Basically everyone knows this class, it's Star 21. Now, this is the class I go to when I need to get a good score. Like when I have a bad KDR the previous game or something. And you can basically swap out the, uh, the Assault Rifle for any other Assault Rifle. Like the, the ACR, the SCAR, doesn't matter. Now, secondaries that's all up to you because secondaries they really don't play a big part in this game except for when you're only playing with secondaries and on this class I'm using Blink Pro, Stopping Power Pro and Commando Pro Blink Pro because I really like the holographic side on the Dark 21 but you can swap it out for Scavenger if you'd like Death Streaks, I don't really care for Death Streaks and with this gun setup I usually camp which is well basically what everyone does with an assault rifle. So I use claymores and stun grenades. Now my sniper class consists of a Barrett 50 cal with FMJ. You can tell me what you want but that's still the best sniper rifle in the game. And the M9s just because they whip out so fast. Sleight of hand. Always use sleight of hand with a Barrett over any sniper unless you're going for something special. Like my COD 4 setup which I don't have on at the moment but it doesn't use sleight of hand. Uh, stopping power is basically required on any sniper except for the W81200 I think. Excuse me there. And steady aim because it's easier to aim at your enemy. Uh, for my plane go boom class, that's what I call it, uh, I use a stinger to chew down enemy air support. Um, the M4A1 with silencer. And cold blooded pro, that's basically a Requi requirement if you want to shoot down air support because that way they can't even see you um, this is my rush class, I use my uh, UMP45 Marathon uh, Cold Blooded Pro Cold Blooded Pro is really useful because it removes the red name and the crosshairs but it also turns off auto aim and silent footsteps for Ninja Pro of course um, the G18s, like I said I'm a big G18 fan G18 fan my close quarter combat uh, class. I have a mini Uzi. I don't know why, but I like it. A USB 45 of tactical knife, and this is basically just my knifing setup. And before you go hating on me because I use Commando Pro, it's for fall damage. And don't tell me Commando Pro makes me launch from like 10 feet away because it doesn't. Not with a tactical knife, anyway. Uh, this is my LMG class. I use a shotgun on it, of course. Well, for me that's logical. Uh, it's because you have to have a powerful secondary that's good for close quarter combat if you're gonna get an LMG. I also use the MG4 because of its low recoil. With grip this gun has even lower recoil, but I actually use it for my extended max because you can just keep shooting with it. I'll uh, show a clip of that later if I have time. Now this this is my experiment class. I use different weapons with different attachments. Everything from fall of thermal to like let's see here something fun. Uh, a light machine gun with ACOG or holographic or heartbeat. I don't know. I normally never use those items. Anyway, uh, up to my new even class, basically a TAR 21 because I love the TAR. I think it's better than the SCAR because the magazine makes all the difference. Of course, noob tubes, RPGs, and Scavenger Pro. I don't like to use one man army because I think it makes the game even more broken than it already is. And a Commando Pro, of course, for logical reasons. And this is for when I want to defend B in Domination. I always want to have a tactical insertion ready because I want to spawn close to B. My Refica with silencer because I don't want people to know where I am if there are a lot of them. And my M16 for far away for people who are far away. Slide of hand, uh, stopping power, the usual. I don't really use crazy perks, do I? Except for danger close with fucking rocks. <laughs> Now for my kill streak setup, I'm using UAV, Predator, and Harrier, but 
sometimes I actually put it to 579 or 578 because when you use emergency airdrop you can get a shitload of experience sorry for my language I hope this can go up and that was about it I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you learned something oh yeah one thing I want to tell um, when you're using where is it where is it there it is when you're using the UMP45 always use a silencer unless you know what the gun does but this gun with a silencer is like a sniper it can hit people across the map like with two hits they're dead except for you when you're not using stopping power but that's why I rush also use the silencer to not be detected anyway I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you learned something and there will be more content soon Hey guys, what's up? I want to let you know how fa how long you can last with extended max on an actual light machine gun. So let's see here. As you can see, it takes a long time before all the bullets are gone. I think it actually takes like, let's see here. I think it actually takes like half a minute before all your bullets are gone, which is it's such a powerful gun. Also, as you can see, this gun has almost no recoil that's why I use it I hope you guys learned something about uh, this setup and I'll see you guys soon